It's probably been the coolest thing I've done in my 19 year career that I've had in the Navy. Um, you know, getting to fly awesome aircraft in and of itself is really cool, but then to be able to honor someone who really blazed the way for folks like me to be able to fly these jets, go fly combat missions, and be the commanding officer of a squadron is, it's almost indescribable. So, you know, Captain Mariner, she, you know, flew in a very different Navy. It was many, many years ago, and uh, when she, she fought really hard in the 90s to make sure that women could fly in combat. And I specifically remember in 1993, I was 15 years old, uh, and that's when the combat exclusion was lifted for females to be able to fly in combat. And at the time, I was in high school, uh, I didn't quite understand how big of a deal that was. Uh, and, and even even uh, flying in the Navy, I didn't quite put two and two together until I was reading all the bios of all the women that were part of this flyover and looking at how many combat deployments that we have put together. Uh, and it's all because of women like Captain Mariner. Um, let's see, so I've been in the Navy now. Uh, I went to the Naval Academy in 2008, and I've been commissioned as an officer since 2012 when I graduated. Um, went through flight training, and then my first squadron was BF-8 213, the Black Lions, and I spent three years with them before moving to my next command. It's super humbling. Um, if it weren't for Captain Mariner and her contemporaries, the original six kind of that paved the way for us, then we wouldn't have been able to do what we did today in her honor, so super humbling. It was very cool. Um, you know, when it all comes together, a lot of planning goes behind the scenes and hard work kind of on all the members of the flight. So to see it come together in an awesome way to, you know, pay tribute to her. Um, to be honest, when Dash 3 pulled up, it, it really, it gave me chills uh, in the cockpit, so it's very cool.